subtracting radicals today, so we have to know what we're allowed to add and what we're not allowed to add. So mm -hmm. like terms. In order for terms to be like, you have to have like radicals. You have to have like <coughs> numbers in front of radical. And then you also need to have like radicands in order for you to add them. So all of those things have to be the same in order for you to be able to combine them via addition or subtraction. That's a lot of things. Okay, so let's look at what we have here. We have a square root of x, a square root of x. This is a square root, but it's a square root of 2x. So that's different. And this is a square root of x. So the blue stuff's all the same, but the green stuff's different, which means so far, I think I can combine blue stuff. Now let's look at the things in front. So I have a 2, which is a real number, and I have a 3, which is a real number. I have a 4, which is a real number. Then I have a 3x, which is like a monomial. So that's not <coughs> similar to like the real number. So if I had a 2 and a 3x, would I be able to combine those? No. no. But wouldn't it, it, no. would it be in the two. same category? Yeah, it would just be like that. Yeah. So, but if I had a 2 and a 3, would I be able to combine those? Yeah. Yes. Maybe. Yes. Would it be in the so, same category as 2x though underneath the, ra ra the radical? The 3x? Three. The 3, yes. So. Um, these three radicals are the same, but because what's in front of this radical is not a like term with these two, we can't combine these two with this one. But isn't it a like term with 2x? Say that again? Isn't it oh, is it? Yeah. No, because this one's inside. It's what? It's inside the radical. Oh, okay. So yeah, that's no. not figured Yeah, if this was like a 2x out here, then maybe. Okay. So the easy ones that we can combine are these two. Okay, so two root x and three root x. It's like two bananas and three bananas, how many bananas we got? Five. Five bananas. So we have five root x. So this is what we have so far. Okay. Now, as I said before, these two radicals are the same, but the, the numbers or monomials in front of them are not the same. So we can't combine them other than writing it like something like this. See how it's the same if you were to distribute the root x? Now, we don't usually do this. Um, it's helpful in certain circumstances, but otherwise you would just leave it like this, unless maybe you needed to do this for some other reason. So. So, on like a test or quiz, you would does it matter what you would just on? yeah you'd leave it like this but maybe like going forward if there was maybe we were trying to like solve for something then, like, you, would, yeah. then you would maybe need to know how to do that so I just want to show you that it could be written like this I wouldn't take off points or anything if you did do it like this but you could stop here I feel like that's just like looks more confusing I would just end up messing with that well point. remember like in chapter one where we had to like solve things mm -hmm. like solve for a variable so maybe like maybe the question was something like this in order to solve for say z you would have to do what I just showed you maybe this is like equal to zero okay and then you would like Take this, add it over there. <coughs> then you would divide by this, and that would be the only way to like get that alone. Then you would finish. So it's like a helpful skill to have to be able to collect the terms in that way for other circumstances. But for the circumstance of just being able to add, subtract, and simplify, you just leave it like that. Let's look at B. So Let's look at, we have a bunch of fourth roots, so that's good. These are all the same, but what's under the roots is all different. So as it sits, we can't combine anything, but those fourth roots could possibly be simplified, and then when we simplify them, maybe it's 
you know, something that we could combine after the fact. So I'm going to make a little trees. We got 32. So 32 is what? What goes into 32? 16 and 2. So oh, four and four. So this four. is oh wait, this is not a square root. Sorry, this is a fourth root. So we got to keep going. And two and two again. Okay, so I have four twos here. So I can do two times the fourth root of my leftover two for that one. Let's do forty-eight. What goes into forty-eight? Twelve. Twelve and four. four. This is three and four. I've got some more twos here. <coughs> so I can take out a two again. And then I have a leftover three. Now there's a minus sign in front of that, so make sure you write minus two times the fourth root of three. And don't forget the index for often people forget the index. Okay, then we got twelve fifty. What goes into twelve fifty? Fifty. Fifty. Mm -hmm. And? Well, 20, well, 25 will go. I say 125 and 10 would be a good one. <laughs> and then this is 25 and five. Five. Got another five. Got another five. Bunch of five. <laughs> I have four five. Okay. And then plus sign. You want to make sure you're paying attention to anything that's in front of a radical already. So just like side note, if there was like a, a six here to start and you took out a two, this would be a 12 because you would take the two, you'd multiply it by the six. Okay. Now, of this, do we have any like terms? Yes. Um, yes. The twos. The two things. Those oh, twos, right? Yeah. The fourth roots that's of twos? That's really what I was talking about, stupid yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was talking about the twos in front, and then well, I was like, wait. Oh, those are like you're terms. You're very vague about but a this two guy's so different. Yeah, I was yeah. like, wait a second. Vague, just vague enough to not <laughs> yeah. be wrong. The two things. Yeah. 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 Two times the fourth root of two, five times the fourth root of two. Both of those are fourth roots of two. So what's two bananas plus five bananas? Seven bananas. <laughs> seven bananas. So we have seven fourth roots of two. And then we have this kind of reject guy. <laughs> doesn't have any friends, so he just kind of stays there. Wow. All right, so now we're going to combine those skills with foil. Um, we're just going to multiply binomials. Ew. So a foil is the Q acronym we use. Um, you do not have to show your foil this way, but I'm going to show I've it in a certain way so we don't lose foil. track of anything. What does foil stand for? So F stands outside. for first. Come on now, Emmer. I like Outer, I just called it foil. I just ah. did it myself. I never knew what it stood I know. for. That's and that's fine. So F stands for first, so four times five is twenty. I literally just said nine in my head. <laughs> nine. It was like plus. They did. One fifth. Uh, o stands know. for <laughs> outer. So we do the outer four times four root two. That's gonna be negative sixteen root two. I'm gonna do it my own way. You can do it whatever way you want. I'm just showing you a way. Thank you. Then we got two root two and five, that's our inside. First inside of the That's going to be positive 10 root 2. And then we have last. Last is last but not least, 16. 2 root 2 and negative 4 root 2. So 2 and the 4, that's going to be okay. negative 8. Did you just slap the board? <laughs> Mosquito. <Ew>. Hi. <laughs> It's just a fly. Um, anyways, as I was saying, 2 and the 4, that makes negative 8. And then the root 2 and the root 2, that makes 2. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now you're going to combine everything that you can possibly combine. So you should be able to combine the O and the I. So negative 16 root 2 and the 10 root 2, that's going to be negative 6 root 2. Okay, so you can combine these. You can also combine this one and this one. This is a negative 16. This is a 20. That makes positive four. Yeah. Um, does it matter what order we put it in? No. Okay. Duh. Well, I didn't okay. know. <laughs> well, you knew um, right. All right. In B, 
Do you notice anything special about these two? They're both the same, but one's minus one's plus. Yeah. They're both the same, but one's minus one's plus. So there's nothing in the middle. This is called conjugates, yeah. And it means that you're not going to have a middle term because the O and the I are going to cancel out. Okay. When you have, yes, when you have conjugates, so you have to be able to identify it's a conjugate. You can't do this all the time. But basically, when you have conjugates, you can skip the oi and foil and just do first, last, and last. That's what I call University of Florida. Mm -hmm. oh. uh, so that's going to be negative seven. It's either the negative first or three. the last. And then combine. OK, literally, what I do is I do the entire thing, and then I just let them cancel at the end. Is that huh? OK? Say. Like when I do those problems, like I do the whole thing and then just cancel them out in the end. Because if I do that, that's I get fine. Lost. It's fine. It's just I don't a know thing. why I do that, so I just do. It. Yeah. Um. I should be going a little fast. Sure right. I'm going a little fast for my. Uh, my score was like. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Two is two. Well, I'm going to I said it was eight, but then you were doing multiplication, so. and I was like, it's eight. Um. All right. So now we're going to rationalize the denominator when the denominator is a binomial. Um, so when the denominator is a Can binomial, you keep that stuff up? Okay. Uh, see, they're dead. <laughs> it's already gone at that point. It all, is gone, Brady. All, all, right, 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 no, right, 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 no. I'll rewrite it later for you. I'll go back to it. Well, you I'll go back to it during the intro. I'll just do the math question. <laughs> or that. Um, that all right. Work. So when you're rationalizing the denominator and the denominator is a binomial, you have to multiply by the conjugate. Multiply by the Conjugate. Yeah. Is it like the reciprocal of it? Smiley face. So it's reciprocal is not quite the root. Oh, reciprocal the, means inverse. So we're the root three. You're just gonna multiply by whatever the denominator is, but with the opposite sign in between. So if it says two plus root three, you're gonna multiply by two minus root three, like this. Oh, that's weird. Now oh. you can't just multiply on the denominator. You have to also multiply the numerator. Oh. So essentially what you're doing is you're multiplying by the fraction 2 minus root 3 over 2 minus root 3. Oh, yeah, that's good. Okay. So on the top, we're going to distribute the 4. So I get 8 minus 4 root 3. The denominator, so remember earlier, if they're conjugates, you can just, instead of foiling, you can do full just do the first and the last. So first is 2 times 2. And the last is root 3 times negative root 3, which is negative 3. Yeah, so 4 minus 3 is 1. So we have 8 minus 4 root 3. Are there any problems where it's like the root on the top is going to have like more numbers and you have to simplify it more? Or is yeah. it just going to like... Yeah, there will be. Or there could be situations where like let's say the denominator was a 4. Then you could factor a 4 out of the top. Mm -hmm. Denominator is 1 and you don't have to <coughs> be there because you just keep simplifying. Um, if I'm just going to go off some on a little tangent, so a side note, let's say the denominator is a negative one, because that can happen. You wouldn't leave it like that, because that's still weird, it being a one. What you would do is you would just divide each of these terms by negative one, and you'd get negative six minus three root two. Oh yeah, that's what I would do. Okay, don't that's leave it like that over negative one. If it's, um, maybe it's like, let's say we get uh, 12 plus root two over two, you cannot simplify that. Don't try. Okay. If you put a number here that you could take a 2 out of. You can just divide the 12 and 2. Um, right. You can do this. Okay, that's allowed. Otherwise, not allowed. All right. Just cover all my bases here. If for whatever reason you do this process and you wind up with radicals in the denominator, you did it wrong. So remember, that's the point. I'm trying to get rid of the radicals in the denominator. Okay, I'm gonna like pause.